Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm Lam Ping Fong. Recently, some netizens said that my pictures in the videos are very beautiful. Ask me how to make it. These are my works. Do you think it's very beautiful? Of course, my real body is not so beautiful. Not even those models have such a good style. These photos are all image processed. It's to use computer technology to modify the image. Which is what we usually call image cutout. Basically I use some models photos as templates. And then cover my own avatar. So that the whole image looks like myself. I can have whatever beautiful hair and clothes. Just process some portrait photos you like. Do you think it's fun? Some netizens asked me to teach them to do this special processing of images. No problem. I just shoot some videos to teach you how to do it. A kind of computer software is needed to make this kind of image. I use Adobe Photoshop CC version of the software. This is a well-known image processing software. It's very powerful. It can make a variety of functions in different fields. Including painting, restoration of old photos, image creativity, graphic design, artistic text, web design, etc. And my videos only teach you some basic usage skills and how to cut out pictures. First of all, I want to make a statement. I'm just a generic housewife. I basically don't know much about computers. Only understand a little simple operation. I only recently started to learn Photoshop software. I only know how to use some simple functions to cut out pictures. And some quick image processing methods. I don't know anything about other areas. But this is enough. At least it can make my pictures beautiful. Please rest assured. As long as you know some simple computer operation skills. It's not difficult to learn to use Photoshop to cut out images. I only spent a little time. Learned a little bit of basic skills. Then I know how to process my images. I'm just a housewife. I can do it. Of course you also can do it. Practice makes perfect. You just need to do more practice and willing to learn. Follow my method step by step. I will naturally make beautiful pictures. Not much gossip. Let's start learning to use Photoshop to cut out images now. Photoshop is basically divided into three levels to learn. Basic level, advanced level and professional level. Now let me teach you how to download and install this software to cut out pictures. First we have to go to Adobe's website and download Photoshop software. You can find Adobe Photoshop download on Google web page. On the home page of the website, you will probably see a picture like this. We can go to the trial version in advance. Let's log in first. If you don't have an Adobe account, you have to create one first. You can type in your email and password here. Or if you have a Google account, you can log in directly with your Google account. Select your region of country and date of birth here. Then click Done. We can install its trial version first. 
let's download its trial version. This software is chargeable. Some are cheap and some are expensive. You get what you pay for. For us beginners. Use the cheapest one is enough. I suggest you spend a little money to buy an official Photoshop CC version. Usually it has a 7 day trial period. After the trial period expires. If you want to continue to use it. You have to pay a monthly fee every month. After clicking continue. It will install the software that connects to the Creative Cloud website on your computer. It usually takes a long time to install. You just need to follow its instructions step by step. When it is installed with Creative Cloud, it will continue to install Photoshop on your computer. This process usually also takes a long time. Mainly depends on your computer hardware, router, and some factors such as network speed. You have to be patient. Taking advantage of this gap. I would like to tell you some questions about setting up Chinese in advance. Photoshop is a product of Adobe company. I teach you that the CC version downloaded from the Adobe website is the original version. It's absolutely legal. Not the so-called Chinese cracked version downloaded from those shops outside. Creative Cloud we downloaded from Adobe. The default language is installed according to the language of your Windows system. If your Windows system interface is Chinese, the installed application is in Chinese. If the user interface is in English, the installed version is in English. I am going to use the Chinese version of Photoshop to teach you. And my Windows user interface is in English. So after installation, I need to set it to Chinese. This process is a bit complicated. We can't set it to Chinese directly in the app. Because when the Photoshop program was first installed, there is no Chinese option in the settings inside. We must set it to Chinese on Creative Cloud. Then reinstall Photoshop. So that it can be set to the Chinese version of Photoshop. If you have a situation like me. You can follow my method. I'll demonstrate it to you later. One more thing to take notice. The official version of Adobe Photoshop has not sold a separate version since many years ago. If you want to buy its software, only available through its Creative Cloud website, you have to pay a monthly fee every month, so that you can download and install its official version. That's why we must log into the Creative Cloud website. Installed Creative Cloud Desktop to connect to the platform of Creative Cloud. Then it will automatically install the Photoshop software on your computer. On the Creative Cloud platform, you will see various kinds of software. Most software have a trail version. If you are interested in, might as well give it a try. After installing Photoshop, you will see something like this. We can start the trial now. Click here. As I just said, the interface language of my Windows system is English. So the installed interface language of Photoshop is English. But I cannot set it to Chinese in this interface at this moment. Because there is no Chinese option for me to choose. So I have to go out from Photoshop first. Change it on the Creative Cloud platform. Exit Photoshop first. Open the platform of Creative Cloud. 
click account at the top right of it. Then click preferences. Then click apps on the left. Its default is English, North America. I changed it to simplified Chinese. Press done again. Please take notice. After the change, you need to find Photoshop again on the platform. Press try here. Try to open Photoshop. It will automatically install again. If the installation is unsuccessful or cannot be opened, you have to reinstall Photoshop. This situation always happens. You have to uninstall the previous Photoshop first. And then reinstall again. Photoshop is now opened. Then let's change its interface to Chinese. Click on the edit menu. Then select preferences at the bottom. Then select and click interface. Change the option UI language to simplified Chinese. Click OK. Then exit Photoshop. This is done. When we reopen Photoshop again. Its interface language will become simplified Chinese. Dear friends, today this video is introduced up to here. In the next video I will teach you some simple Photoshop operation skills. These operations are what we must understand when cutting out images. Please rest assured everyone. As long as you are willing to learn. And practice more. You just follow my method step by step. You must be able to modify some beautiful pictures. If you think my video is made well, then please give me a like. Leave a message by the way. Help me subscribe. And open the bell next to it. And share out the video. Thank you all. Goodbye.